and put you right in there baby Yoda hold my camera this time I watched all of David Tennant's Doctor Who uh, this is my first time experiencing anything Doctor Who so I've never seen anything Doctor Who I didn't know anything about it before this just that people liked it and it's cool that's all I knew. Uh, why did I watch this first? Uh, because it seemed pretty simple. Uh, Doctor Who sets range from about $60 on average on Blu-ray. Um, and this is just for one season. And it's like very confusing how they put it out. Because Tom Baker, right, you can buy Series 1, and then now they're releasing Series 7, right? So it's not released in order, and it's very confusing of how I want to watch it, right? So I don't know anything about Doctor Who, and so it's very confusing. So I'm like, how do I watch it? How do I get into it? I don't know. So this was a $40, uh, range from $35 to $30 to $40 set. It went on sale for $15, and this is the complete set of all David Tennant's run on the show. I heard he was like the fan favorite, so I was like, all right, I'll watch it. And I could tell watching this that I was missing some information. I didn't understand everything. But it got me excited to watch it. And I really liked this uh, this show. And I loved this the, the this this character. Uh, that The Doctor. Uh, David Tennant's Doctor. He, he, I think he's fantastic. I can definitely tell why he's a fan favorite. Um, but yeah... I, the, but you know, uh, so you know, I like how all these are these are these discs have different arc. These were my favorite episodes. Whenever these droids or you like have the Daleks show up, I love those episodes. Those were my favorites. Um, when we get into the later half after uh, di series series two, and then we get to series three, I kind of tipped out a bit. I was like, yeah, it's it's all right, and I kept watching to see which direction it would go and I really enjoyed it but then once we got to about series four I just dropped out I didn't like the direction it went in with some of the characters I'm not really going to give spoilers um but you know I just I don't know I just it didn't work for me the direction it went in um you know and then they wrap up and then there's these specials which I'm not sure how these fit in I didn't like these because I these they're longer then the show, and I think the show episodes are already pretty long, and I enjoy them for the length that they are. So having these specials that feel like they're trying to be like bigger and more epic and with more special effects and stuff, because really watching this like season of Doctor Who, you could just tell that the effects were the worst part here. Like they just they didn't have money for it, and I've heard that's gotten better over time in like Doctor Who nowadays. I haven't watched like the latest seasons and stuff but uh you know that's what i hear from fans and so i was like oh okay but it's just like here you watch this and it's like oh it looks so freaking terrible i don't like watching it uh like that i think it's not very good and it just drives me crazy um like and they're just too long and the the, the effects you know they use a lot more it just didn't feel grand in scale like i felt like the episodes where they were like tight into a certain time length those felt um, way better in scale compared to this season to the to the specials here and then you know this is just us like an kind of like a type of interview with david Tennant. i didn't watch this disc because you know i was just watching through the episodes to do this video not like bonus content and stuff maybe i will go back later on probably and watch those but not right now uh but let's get into the worst part about these these animated specials so there's about two of these um, they're completely awful. Uh, they are terribly animated. They run like an episode of the show, but they're one of the weaker episodes of the show. And the animation is so bad that at times it makes it completely unwatchable to watch. And I really couldn't stand it. That being said, I still enjoyed the show. I still think uh, it was a good show overall. I really like this character's run on the show. It makes me want to see more Doctor Who. But I don't know how long it will be for that because really this was a fluke. I got this on sale for $15. This is a 14 disc set with multiple episodes, specials, and um, bonus features and stuff. Really excellent price.
and they don't have collections like this, right? I can't look up Peter Capaldi Blu-ray collection and find all of his run on the show in like a nifty collection like this that I can get. I can't find something like that. So unfortunately, I don't know how long it will be. I hope that this that that if you are a Doctor Who fan that who likes this show, that you will pick these up because it will encourage uh, BBC and whatever companies put this stuff out um, to look at this and say, hey, this is selling pretty well. We should put out more of these because they definitely should. These are really well designed. They're really easy to put on the shelf and it's very slick and nice looking. Um, though I will say the, the box is tearing, which I don't like so much. Um, probably gonna have to throw away this slip. But the reason why is just because you have to pull these out and they just are kind of crammed in here and that isn't always the best thing for a disc like it has to be like this and so you're constantly rubbing up against the edge and bending it and stuff like that it just does not do good on the actual thing um, especially since when you're pulling it out to pull out multiple discs and things um, but yeah I'm going to put this right here before it gets damaged any further uh, but definitely recommend it uh, Doctor Who, I recommend checking it out because if it's this is the quality of the show, which for most people I've heard this is the quality of the show, I'm definitely recommending it. Um, but that was my experience watching Doctor Who. I just wanted to mention right here, I'm watching through the six first six seasons of The Happy Days, those are the only ones put out on DVD. I hope one day we get the rest, probably won't happen. Uh, but I am on, so there are four discs in season six. I'm on disc three of season six. In fact, it's playing in the background right behind me, muted, uh, so I don't get copyright claim. Because when there's like boring episodes like that, I just tend to skip past them uh, or, and stuff like that. I, there are certain episodes I just don't like. But uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm right here. And yeah, I'm almost to the end here of the happy days and um, watching through the show and then I will be watching some other things uh, I need to finish I got Muppet movies I need to finish um, that I want to have videos out for pretty soon here and because I love the Muppets and they got that new series coming out July 31st so I'm excited for that so I'll be watching through all those and doing reviews for those but I'm working on a lot of stuff right now and I'm happy about that